If we're being completely candid, flirting with gasoline types is a bit like showing up to a vegan potluck with a bucket of fried chicken. There's a palpable mismatch, and things might not go over so well. Cars that are designed to run on E85 gasoline are a part of a group called flex fuel vehicles. These cars are the automotive embodiment of being bilingual. They can speak both pure gasoline and E85 ethanol language fluently. E85, which is shorthand for 85% ethanol and 15% gasoline, is a biofuel with a heart of corn, quite literally. The idea behind it is that it's a bit greener, both in production and tailpipe emissions. If you pour 87 octane gasoline into a car that usually runs on E85, your car won't transform into a pumpkin, nor will it likely leave you stranded immediately. But it's what you don't see that's the concern. The engine of an E85 vehicle is a maestro, directed to conduct a very specific fuel symphony. It's the octane content and the chemical makeup they are designed to dance with. Traditional 87 octane fuel might waltz in there with two left feet. Over time, this mismatch could lead to a host of issues, from knocking and pinging in the engine due to premature detonation, because the fuel burns at a different rate, to potential damage from contaminants, since E85 vehicles have different materials and coatings in the fuel system to handle the higher alcohol content of E85. Moreover, don't underestimate the computer behind the metal. The car's engine control unit, ECU, might just throw a temper tantrum, or in technical terms, trigger a check engine light because the fuel composition sensors are picking up a blend that's as foreign to them as snow in the Sahara. As for the short term, your car might be forgiving enough to overlook your one-time blunder, thanks to the engineers who anticipated human error. But don't push your luck. Repeated offenses can rack up damage points on your engine and fuel system. Now, emergency situations might call for desperate measures. In a pinch, you could use 87 octane to get you to the next station, but make it the last resort like sneaking a bite of someone else's sandwich from the office fridge, it's not the end of the world, but also, it's not something to make a habit of. Your car's longevity and performance are on the line, so it's always best to keep it fed with the fuel it was designed to burn. Treat it right, and it'll treat you right. Simple as that. So next time you hover by the pump, remember to give your car the drink it's asking for. Your engine will thank you, and so will your wallet in the long run.